Hi students, welcome to Veranda Race and we, have, we are back with 25 questions on based on ESIC question paper. So let us start the session without much ado. Let us start the session. So today's target will be solving 25 questions based on ESIC pattern. So without much ado, let us start the session. Welcome to Veranda Race. Okay. So the first question will be based on, first five questions will be based on error spotting, fine error spotting. Apple adds a feature to iPhones last year that severely impacted Meta's ability to target users with ads, a crucial part of its lucrative advertising business. Error is in part A because it says last year, it says last year. So with last year we cannot use ads, we will use added. With last year we will use added. Next question. Meta shoved the term metaverse into the limelight last year when it announced it was the change, it was changing its name. Okay. So you see shoved. Shoved means to display or to show someone or forcefully push someone something. So pushing some, something to others or displaying something forcefully is known as shoved. So this question Meta shoved the term Metaverse into the limelight last year when it announced it was changing its name. No error. There is no error in the question. Next question. Men should always be made responsible for what they does and what they say at all times. So what they does. So men is plural. Men is plural. So what they do will be the correct answer. What they do. What they do will be the correct answer. Please interact students. I will give you a chance to answer the questions. So what they do. Men should always be made responsible for what they do and what they say at all times. Clear? Next question. Sahas in partnership with Environmental Synergies in Development, uh, ENSYDE, had implementing an initiative to encourage responsible e-waste management. So Sahas in partnership with Environmental Synergies in Development, NSIDE, had implementing, should be had implemented, had implemented, had plus V2, V3, had implemented, an initiative to encourage responsible e-waste management system. Management. Fine. So had implementing is no structure. Had plus V4 can never be there. It is had plus V3. Okay. Next question. According to reports, the Chinese company Space Transportation wants to link some of its world's major cities by just an hour of travel. Implement. Rakshana says implement. Yeah, implement. No. Had plus implemented. Not implement. That's Rakshana. Good morning. It will be implemented. Next, according to reports, the Chinese company Space Transportation wants to link some of its worlds. So, China is not world, right? So, some of the worlds will be the correct answer. Some of the world's major cities by just an hour of travel. Not some of its world cities. It will be some of the major world cities. Fine? The world's major cities. Moving ahead. Next, we have filler questions. We have filler questions. The first question would be, we have tied up with recyclers dashed by the Karnataka State Pollution Control Board, KSPCB, to ensure that the e-waste collected is managed collected is managed in a specially and environmentally dashed manner. See, is managed in a socially and environmentally, so it's, it should be a positive word, positive word. Managed in a socially and environmentally dash manner. So it should be a positive word like responsible and other options are absurd. So responsible, responsible. These two options have a responsible, a positive word. So we can say we have tied up with the recycle recyclers monitored by the Karnataka government. So it should be monitored by and responsible is a positive word that should be used in the second blank. Environmentally uh, responsible manner which is responsible and does not harm the environment okay 
B is the correct answer. Moving ahead to the next question. <coughs> Informal sector does not have the means or the capacity. Informal sector does not have the means or the capacity to dash the hazardous constituents of e-waste. Hence, they get disposed of without any dash resulting in severe environmental damage. You can see where disposed of without any dash without any so hazardous constituents of e-waste get what get get uh, disposed of without any so it should be a word which shows that they get uh, the disposed of they get uh, uh, land filled or disposed of without any treatment that is the correct word so here the treatment word is there and the informal sector does not have the means or the capacity to handle. This will be the correct answer. So it gets disposed of without any treatment. That happens, that is happening nowadays. It should be handle and treatment. Manage manpower. No, no, no. Without any manpower resulting is, if I write manpower over here, it won't make any sense. Without any treatment. Without any treatment resulting in severe environmental damage. So if something is disposed of without any treatment, it will the, the waste will damage the environment. Okay, that will be the answer. Moving ahead, to the next question. As the e-waste, <coughs> as the e-waste dashed by the bulk generators is large in volume, so it should be some something called created, generated. That kind of words is there. So do you have an option like that? Yeah, generated is here. Generated is here. So, as the e-waste generated by the bulk generators, so generators will give rise to generates. So, as the e-waste generated by bulk generators is in large in volume, the authorized dash directly collect the e-waste. So, authorized recyclers, not packers. So, because it has to be recycled, it should be authorized recyclers. Okay. Moving ahead to the next question. Meta has dash brutal criticism from hawk ho uh, lawmakers and activists in recent years over what critics say is its dash market dominance. Hmm. Dash of market dominance. So dash plus of plus market dominance, it should be preceded by a noun itself. So second blank should be a noun. So we have noun abuse, series, dominance, dominion and field. So dominion means what? Dominion means, means a sovereign state. Sovereign state is known as a dominion. Okay, so it cannot be the answer. Obviously, it cannot be the answer. Field of market dominance. So what the critics says, what critics say it is it's and activists in recent years over what it has received. Meta has received brutal criticism because it has received from lawmakers and activists in recent years over what critics say is its. So field market dominance, field of market dominance is not correct. So we can say abuse. So it has, it's, it, it should be a negative word because it has received criticism. The blank, second blank should be filled by a negative word. So abuse will be the correct answer. And in the first one, fielded. Fielded means what? Stopped, resisted. So if if it has, it is receiving brutal criticism, it will try. To, so how do we field? Suppose a batsman uh, hits the ball, we field it, right? We catch it, we stop it from going to the boundary. That way, the answer should be. B will be the correct, uh, D will be the correct answer, fielded, fielded and abuse. Fielding means what? Stopping the ball, clear? Moving ahead to the next question. WHO was working very closely with laboratories, asking them to dash samples that had come back without being flagged as Omicron for further analysis to gain a more precise dash of the spread of BA2. Okay, so... Uh, we have three options which are picture, fine. So uh, WHO was working very closely with laboratories asking them to dash samples. Okay, 2 plus V1 should be there, 2 plus V1, we cannot use analyzed. So we have, we are sure that the second blank will be filled by a picture, picture word. Okay, so WHO was working very closely with laboratories asking them to forward samples that had come back without being flagged as Omicron for further analysis to gain a more precise picture. So shuffle would mean, shuffle would mean what? To interchange, interchange. 
flag will mean to, to highlight. Okay, we can have an option between flag and forward. Let us check. So, option between for flag and forward. These two options are quite dicey. Let us check again. WHO was working very closely with laboratories asking them to flag samples that had come back without being flagged as no, it would be forward. Forward means what? Highlight, promote, bring to notice that, that way. Okay, bring to notice. So, C is the correct answer. Correct. You are right. You are right. Vishnu Vardhan, Vardhanan, Vishnu Vardhanan, uh, C is the correct answer. Moving ahead. Next question. The third wave which is believed to be dash in India now, which is believed to be dash in India now has been markedly different from the second wave of the pandemic, which dash a huge number of deaths. So, which caused, caused kind of thing should be there. So, we have a word like witness, which is equivalent to caused. So is also clear. Referred and witnesses are incorrect. So, we, the options is between this and this, C and D. So, the first wave caused a lot of deaths. So, it will be witnessed. And the first blank should be filled with waning. Waning means reducing, reducing in number. So, the answer would be the third wave, which is believed to be waning in India, now has been markedly different from the second wave of the pandemic, which or witnessed a large number, huge number of deaths. Witness means experience, experience. This could have been answer, but increasing is wrong. That is, that will make it uh, similar, but we have to make it contradictory, right? We have to make it contradictory because second wave is waning, but, but the third wave is causing a lot of deaths, right? Witnessed a huge number of deaths. So, you understand this. When it's contradiction, this would be the answer. If it was similar, then we would have to take, taken the answer as D. Yeah, Nandu is correct, so it will be C answer. Now rearrangement. So, I will have to come that side. Proxima D, the latest planet to be found, completes one orbit around the star every five, five Earth days. Okay. So, this is possibly the first, uh, first blank, first uh, sentence. This can possibly be the first sentence. This can possibly be the first sentence. This planet, it cannot be the uh, uh, first sentence because it has this in it. Because it has this in it, it cannot be the first sentence. So, what should be the first sentence? Mm, the closest planet to the sun, Mercury orbits in no, this is not the first sentence. It is one of the, the discovery was described. So, A will be the first sentence because, it is because, A is the first sentence because it has, it introduces a new concept and other sentences have hints of pronouns or adjectives or determiners which tell us that it cannot be the first sentence. Okay. So, A will be the first sentence. Okay. So, we have described Proxima D. So, it is one of the lightest exoplanets ever discovered with a mass of about a quarter of the Earth's. So, B, D will be the second sentence. I will tell you why. Because it describes the Proxima D. It is one of the lightest exoplanets. Okay. So, AD will be the, uh, D will be the second sentence. The discovery, okay, fine. Discovered, ever discovered. What is, what is your answer? Okay. Discovered. The discovery was described in a study published in Astronomy and Astrophysics. So, ADE, after this, was, this was published in Astronomy and Astrophysics. <coughs> this planet is only 2.5 million miles, 4 million kilometers from the star, which is less than one tenth as far as Mercury is from the sun in our solar system. Okay? The closest planet to the sun, Mercury, orbits in every 88 days. So, it will be ADE BC. Because in, it says about Mercury and then it describes about Mercury. So, this will be, this C will follow B and B is the fourth sentence. Fine. So, A, D, E, B, C will be the correct order. Okay, moving ahead. Now, we have passage. Last time we struggled with the passage because we did not read it correctly. But we'll, we'll today first we will read all the questions. Just a minute. <coughs> we will read all the questions first. See, it's easier in easier while we answer in the test, but it becomes difficult when we explain in PowerPoint presentation. It becomes a bit difficult because we have to go to go back to the passage 
in that case what happens you are just beside the passage beside the questions basically a d e b c correct uh, santamil selvi correct answer a d e b c bos nandu correct answer so now let us solve the answer. first question is what is the memory according to the renowned psychologist william james what is memory so the question is what is memory according to the renowned, renowned psychologist william james understood memory according to william james that we have to record in our mind first question memory according to william james next how does the native language sound to a youngster born and brought up in a foreign land so first question was william james and memory second question is native language sound to a youngster born and brought up in foreign land so how is how does native language and sound to a youngster born in a foreign land two questions we have understood Will, uh, mr williams uh, definition of mercury uh, definition of uh, the uh, uh, just a minute memory williams just the definition of memory and second question is language sound to a youngster born in a native land uh, on, on in a foreign land native language to a youngster born in a foreign foreign land so we'll answer these two questions first then we'll move further let's see one more question for that matter which among the following is a near equivalent to bigot so bigot means what bigot means fanatic bigot means fanatic so do we have do we have an option like that yes we have an option called chauvinist bigot means chauvinist fanatic and a person who is blindly obsessed to one idea so it will be fanatic chauvinist so following is near equivalent to bigot okay so we have compatriot which is not the correct answer partisan is also none of these okay near equivalent to bigot okay chauvinist fanatic partisan all are correct so we can say that uh, which option is correct because chauvinist also means bigot fanatic also means bigot partisan also means bigot so we'll choose the answer as none of these because at least these three are similar in meaning so we don't have an option like that so if we if it is not near to the equivalent so it should be compatriot we will choose that this as the answer i think there's some mistake in the question i'll tell you why because chauvinistic chauvinist fanatic and partisan mean by god so it says is near equivalent to by god near equivalent to by god so chauvinist fanatic and partisan mean the same compatriot means your your friend so uh, let, let me let me check let me check which among the following is near equivalent to bigot compatriot means friend comrade chauvinist means again uh, bigot fanatic means bigot partisan in, okay we'll find the nearest in meaning according to the passage that is the best thing okay or in the passage let's move ahead what makes children not forget their native language so we have understood four questions let's go back to the passage memory is unfaithful memory is unfaithful as william james a pioneering psychologist of the 19th and early 20th centuries observed there is no such thing as mental retention there is no such thing as mental retention the persistence of an idea from month to month or year to year in some mental pigeon hole from which it can be drawn when wanted what persists is a tendency to connection so let us go to the first question according to william james there is nothing called mental retention what persists is a tendency tendency to connection let's go to the first question <clears throat> c is the correct answer it is mere retention of information as years pass by it is comp comprehensive mental faculty related to reasoning 
it persists to a connection of information yes this is the correct answer so it, it was mentioned there it was a it persists to a connection of information so this is the correct answer c correct let's go back connection or you could say what persists a tendency to connection <coughs> James Apinery just said, there is no such thing as mental attention, the persistence of an idea from month to month, year to year in some mental pigeonhole from which it can be drawn when wanted, what persists is the tendency to connection. So connection to information, right? When it can be drawn from a pigeonhole, so this will be the correct answer which we mark the answer as correct. Persist to a tendency to connection. Connection of what? Drawing information from the pigeonhole. Drawing information from the pigeonhole will be the correct answer. So connection to information and here the connection means persistence to information and here connection means drawing the information from the pigeonhole after year and years pass by. Okay, this is the correct answer. Now moving ahead, Julie Sedevi quotes James in a poignant context in her new book Memory Speaks. She was, was whisked from Czechoslovakia with her family. This is an important information. She was whisked means thrown out thrown out from Czechoslovakia with her family at the age of two, settling eventually in Montreal, okay, Montreal. In her new home, she became proficient in French and English, proficient in French and English, and later on became a scholar in the psychology of languages, okay. So moving ahead, we have not got the answer to the second, third and fourth question. But she nearly lost her first language chess before returning to in its adulthood. Her book is at once an eloquent. Eloquent means fluent. Eloquent means fluent. Okay. Memoir, a wide ranging commentary on cultural diversity and an expert distillation of the research on language learning, loss and recovery. Her story is sadly logical. Youngsters use the child's plastic brain to learn the language of an adoptive country with what often seems astonishing speed. Before long, it seems to promise acceptance and opportunity, while their parents' language becomes irrelevant or embarrassing. So their parents' language becomes embarrassment. So I'll, I'll mark this option. Something used only by old people from a faraway place. The parents' questions in their home language and answered impatiently in the new one. The children coming to regard their elders as out of touch, simpletons. Simpletons means very very normal in mediocre in thinking capacity as known as simpleton who struggle to complete basic tasks so we have marked some things which will help you in answer the question further for their part meanwhile the parents cannot lead the subtle difficult conversations that guide their offspring as they grow as the children's heritage language atrophies the two generations find it harder and harder to talk about anything at all. Children often yearn desperately to fit in. Often this can mean not only learning the new language, but avoiding putting off potential friends with the old. Children, alas, can also be little by gods. Okay. At the age of five, researchers have found they already express a preference for hypothetical playmates of the same race, race as them. Moving ahead. They also prefer friends who speak only their language over those who speak a second one as well. In theory, keeping a language robust, robust means strong, once uprooted from their native environment is possible. But that requires the continuance of a rich and varied input for a child's development and not just from the parents, but through activities, experiences, books and media. These are often not available in countries of arrival. Parents are themselves pressed to speak in the new language to their children. Despite evidence that they are ungrammatical and halting, their ungrammatical and halting efforts are not of much help. Okay. So this question is answered. It persists to connection of information. There was written connection, persistent to connection, and this connection was taking the information from the pigeonhole. So that is this is correct. Moving ahead to the next question. How does the native language sound to youngsters born and brought up in the foreign language? This is this, this answer. Because it's said in the passage that they are embarrassed when their parents ask them to speak in that language. In, in the parents' language. So it was embarrassing for them. So, so embarrassing to hear the native language. So, this is the answer. 
Sound to a youngster born in the in the foreign land. Okay, this is the answer. By God, by God in according to the passage means chauvinist. Chauvinist means see fanatic is also fanatic, but fanatic is the extreme extreme level of chauvinism. Chauvinism chauvinism is the lightest form of by God. Means focused or obsessed to one idea. So this will be the answer. Chauvinist will be the correct answer. Partisan means who wants disorder in terms of following his only pre preoccupation or obsession. So these are close, but chauvinist will be the best answer we have. Near in meaning to the question. So we have male shamanism, male shamanistic people who believe that they are superior. Similar to that, by God will mean, means shamanism, partisan and fanatic are on the extreme end. But we are talking about children, so by God will be shamanist. Okay. What makes children not forget their native language? Okay, this will be the answer. Because it's written in the passage, continuous inputs in the native language through media, magazines, parents, activities and experience. I'll, I'll show you, but this is the answer, correct answer. Continuous input through media, magazines, parents, activities and experiences. Moving ahead. Robust is strong, as I told you earlier also, robust is strong. In her book, Memory Speaks, where did Julie Sedevi get settled after Montreal? Montreal. After she was thrown out from Czechoslovakia, she settled in Montreal. Okay. What does not help a child learn his or her native language while on a foreign land? What does not help a child learn his or her native language while on her foreign land? Memorizing it even, speaking the native language occasionally. Hearing the native language often and hearing an ungrammatical use. This is the answer we marked that when the child hears the ungrammatical usage of the native tongue, it does not help the child learn his native language. Okay, we marked it there, you remember. What are the two languages, Julie, French and English? Very easy. English and French is mentioned there. So, Julie said we got proficient in while on the adoptive land, it was French and English. Okay. What is the near equivalent meaning to the word eloquent? Eloquent is fluent. Eloquent is fluent as I told you earlier. Un well kept means very organized, very disciplined. Desire, aspire, prepared, you know the meaning of all those, but the fluent will be the correct answer of uh, eloquent, fine. Okay, we have ended the session, but I will go back to one question, that one. I will end the session, just a moment. I wish I told you, magazines and parents efforts and all. So, what makes the children not forget their native language? Because it is it's very simple, it is given in the passage. Continuous efforts from parents through magazines, activities and all and experience as well. So we will end the session now students. I think the passage was very easy one today. We did not struggle a lot in that and as well as we the questions were very interesting. So with this I would like to end the session. Thank you so much.